Hello and welcome to the Jewelry Trade Resources podcast, where we dive into the fascinating world of jewelry design, craftsmanship and industry trends. And I'm thrilled to have you join us on this journey, whether you're a seasoned professional, an aspiring designer or simply a lover of all things sparkly. There's something for everyone in our conversations with the brightest minds in the jewelry trade. So let's get started and uncover the hidden gems of this captivating industry. And today we're going to be discussing the influence of fine art on modern jewelry design. In an era where the boundaries between art forms are increasingly blurred, jewellery design stands as a testament to this interdisciplinary fusion. Jewellery pieces that revolve around composition, form and pure design have etched out a unique space for themselves, embracing a language that resonates with the intellectual concepts drawn from the realms of painting and sculpture. These pieces, characterised by precision in construction and execution, echo the contemporary intellectual underpinnings that shape today's two- and three-dimensional art fields. The journey into the world of art-influenced jewellery design is not merely an exploration of aesthetics, but also a study in the philosophies and the thought processes that shape these captivating pieces. In the world of creative expression, boundaries between different forms of art are increasingly blurred. This is perhaps nowhere more apparent than in the field of jewellery design, where influences from the two- and three-dimensional fields of painting and sculpture significantly shape the aesthetic and conceptual underpinnings of the craft. Translating concepts from painting and sculpture, traditionally considered two- and three-dimensional art forms, into jewellery design, a tactile and wearable art form, is a creative feat. Joy designers adeptly draw upon these influences, creating pieces that encapsulate the depth, dimension and dynamism of these art forms. One hallmark of this cross-pollination is the precision and construction and execution evident in many contemporary jewellery pieces. This meticulousness mirrors the exactitude often found in paintings and sculpture where every brushstroke or chiseled detail plays a part in the overall composition. Similarly, in jewellery design, every element from the smallest gemstone to the way the metal is moulded contributes to the final form of the piece, reflecting a deep appreciation for detail and craftsmanship. Another exciting development in this space is the adaptation of hollowware concepts in jewellery design. Hollowware, typically used to describe objects such as bowls or vases in silversmithing, involves creating forms that are often voluminous and three-dimensional. Transferring these concepts to jewellery design has resulted in innovative pieces that combine volumetric design principles with the wearable nature of jewellery, creating a new dimension in the way we perceive and interact with these personal adornments. In the creative world of jewellery design, the skill to miniaturise, to translate the grandeur of large items, objects, artworks or even animals into the petite form of a charm or pendant showcases the designer's mastery and innovative thinking. Translating large scale concepts into the relatively compact form of a charm or pendant demands a meticulous and thoughtful design process. The precision detailing and three-dimensional aspects of the original subject must be considered while designing these miniature marvels. The challenge lies in maintaining the essence while reducing the scale. While the physical dimensions shrink, the integrity of the original concept must remain intact. Every curve, line and texture found in the original subject needs to be replicated in the charm, albeit on a smaller scale. This ensures that the charm not only serves its purpose as a decorative piece, but also carries forward the spirit and essence of its inspiration. Charms and pendants inspired by large-scale concepts are more than just adornments. They are miniature pieces of art that tell a story. Each charm or pendant becomes a unique style statement, reflecting the wearer's appreciation for the artistry that transcends conventional size limitations. As jewellery design evolves, it continuously draws inspiration from various artistic fields. One of these fields is hollowware a type of metalwork used to create functional items such as dishes, bowls or vases. The concept of creating three-dimensional voluminous forms in hollowware presents intriguing possibilities when applied to the smaller scale of jewellery design. Applying hollowware concepts to jewellery involves a process of creative translation. It's not about merely shrinking a hollowware design, 
but about capturing its essence and adapting it to a wearable form. The voluminous sculptural shapes of hollowware can lend a sense of boldness and dimensionality to jewellery pieces, creating a striking aesthetic impact. The scaling process is a delicate balance of maintaining the integrity of a hollowware design while ensuring the resulting jewellery piece is wearable and comfortable. It involves careful consideration of proportions, weight and balance. It's not just about size but also about how the piece interacts with the body. The successful application of hollowware concepts to jewellery often results in pieces that are not only visually stunning but also carry a unique tactile quality that enhances the wearer's experience. In the vast spectrum of jewellery design, an intriguing subcategory emerges that captures attention not just through its form but predominantly through its surface ornamentation. This type of jewellery with its intricate embellishments and detailed textures represents an artful balance of design and craftsmanship. Surface ornamentation plays a key role in shaping the visual and tactile experience of a piece of jewellery. Beyond adding aesthetic appeal, it can enhance the emotional resonance of a piece, imbuing it with a sense of history, culture or personal meaning. Whether achieved through engraving, enamelling, gem setting or other techniques, surface ornamentation can dramatically alter the character of a piece, highlighting the jeweller's skill and creativity. The impact of surface ornamentation extends beyond the immediate visual impression. It contributes to the overall narrative of a piece, expressing the designer's vision and the wearer's individuality. Furthermore, it can influence how a piece interacts with light, casting intriguing shadows or creating a dazzling display of reflected light. In this way, surface ornamentation can bring a dynamic, ever-changing quality to a piece of jewellery. In the realm of modern jewellery design, we've observed a significant shift. Today's artisans draw inspiration not only from traditional sources, but also from contemporary intellectual concepts prevalent in the world of painting and sculpture. This integration of diverse influences culminates in designs that emphasise composition, form and pure design. Jewellery pieces that stand out for their precision of construction and execution are a testament to this influence. Additionally, we've seen the fascinating adaption of hollowware concepts in jewellery design. These concepts, typically associated with larger functional objects, have been scaled down to complement the intimate personal nature of jewellery. This has resulted in pieces that exhibit an intricate three-dimensional aesthetic, adding a new layer of complexity to jewellery design. Moreover, the role of surface ornamentation in jewellery cannot be understated. More and more we see pieces that feature dominating intricate ornamentation, taking the art of jewellery making to new creative heights. These pieces not only captivate with their intricate details, but also demonstrate the incredible skill and precision of the artisans behind them. As we reflect on these developments, it becomes clear that the world of jewellery design continues to evolve, driven by a continuous dialogue between traditional craftsmanship and contemporary influences. We look forward to witnessing further innovative design concepts that will shape the future of the jewellery trade. And that is a wrap for today's episode of the Jewellery Trade Resources podcast. So thank you very much for tuning in and joining us in our exploration of the ever-evolving world of jewellery. We hope that you've enjoyed the insights and stories from our experts as much as we have. And if you'd like to stay updated on future episodes and join our vibrant community, be sure to subscribe to our podcast and also follow us on social media. So until next time, wishing you inspiration, creativity and success in your jewellery endeavours and goodbye.